Hello and welcome to Underachievement Unlocked. My name is Johnny and today I'm going to be talking about one of the most well-known weapons in the world and the most used weapon of many a CSGO player, the AK-47. The second of the terrorist exclusive rifles, the AK is considered by many players, including myself, to be the best weapon in the game. Clocking in at $2,700, 700 more than the more basic Galil, the AK is considerably cheaper than its CT side equivalents, the M4 twins. Due to a recent update by Valve, both the M4A4 and the M4A1S now cost $3,100, 400 more than the AK. So for the same money, the terrorists get a better rifle and two extra flashbangs. I wonder if they've got a loyalty card or something. Along with the more obvious advantage of not having to mortgage their little terroristy houses in order to buy the weapon, the AK also puts out very high damage. In fact, it's the only non-scope rifle in the game able to kill fully armoured players with a single headshot, which makes going up against an AK-wielding opponent, however injured, a very dangerous pursuit indeed. This high damage combines with the AK's great armour and war penetration to mean that warbanging players is not only a viable tactic, but a very effective tactic too. It would be a fair assumption that this one-hit-one-kill malarkey only happens at close range, as, if the AK followed in the Gallows somewhat inaccurate footsteps, such feats wouldn't be possible at longer ranges. I'm pleased to say, however, that this is not the case. The AK's first shot is very accurate, and the first eight or so bullets have a very manageable recoil pattern, as it simply goes up, with little side-to-side -side movement. On top of this, the AK maintains its high damage output at extreme range, meaning that you can drop an enemy from the other side of the map with a single click. And to put the cherry on top of this whipped cream and nut sundae of awesomeness that is the AK-47, there are 30 CT dropping rounds in each clip of which you are provided with four. That's 120 potential headshots right there. You could eliminate the entire team without even reloading, which, I should point out, does not take long at all. Now, that all sounds great, right? What disadvantages could I possibly have to mention that would make you even think about buying anything other than the AK-47? Well, as I said, the first 8 or so bullets you fire have a very manageable recoil pattern. The next 22, however, are a tad less pleasant. The recoil is very powerful, and accuracy rapidly decreases when firing continuously. And although said recoil can be controlled to a certain extent, it takes time and a lot of practice to control it effectively. On top of this, the fire rate of the AK-47 is slow for an assault rifle, so you really need to make your shots count. The AK also requires you to be still when firing. It's definitely not viable as a run-and-gun weapon. Now, on to use. The AK can be used with deadly effect at just about all ranges, but it requires different firing tactics for different ranges. At medium to long ranges, the weapon is most effectively used going for headshots with tap shooting, which is to say allowing time between each shot for the accuracy of the weapon to reset, or burst firing, firing two or three shot bursts, pulling down a little on the second and third shots. When the enemy is a little closer, or you are faced with multiple close enemies, then spraying the weapon whilst controlling the recoil becomes my recommendation. I've said a lot about the recoil, but it really does just require practice to master. If we look at the shot pattern, it goes up, right, left, then right again. Which means the cheat code for the AK is down, left, right, left. Spend a little time matching timings to those movements, and you'll be controlling that recoil in no time. Remember, though, to be still when you're firing. Otherwise, you're relying on luck rather than skill. And despite what the sticker might say, that's not a good idea. Well, now that we've established the AK's advantages and disadvantages, along with how to use it, we move on to the million dollar question. Should you use it? The answer, unsurprisingly, is yes. Yes, you should use the best weapon in the game. Unless you're an AWPA, the AK is probably going to be the rifle you should put the most time and effort into learning to use. Even if you don't like the weapon at the moment, or you don't feel comfortable using it, if you see one at the end of a round on the ground, and it's safe to do so, pick it up. I guarantee that someone in your team will want it. However, it is worth noting that sometimes it's not the right weapon to use. For example, for holding extremely long range positions, such as the incredibly creatively nicknamed Long on Dust 2, a scoped weapon such as the AWP might be a better choice. Or on an anti-eco round, for example second round after a win, you'll be going up against players who cannot afford to buy fully, or who are saving and thus haven't bought anything at all. And so shotguns or SMGs make more sense to purchase due to their high rate of fire, devastating effect on unarmoured players, and increased kill rewards. But hey, that's another video. Until the next time, folks, practice those tap shots and that spray control and go forth into the big screaming monkey pit that is CSGO matchmaking. I believe in you.